Well, folks, we certainly hope you enjoyed seeing this picture as much as we enjoyed making it. And as a personal favor, please don't reveal the ending. Oh, what are you doing? What? That's not the ending. I didn't know that. Well, the picture's just getting started. What picture? This picture. Oh. Well, it's just that I figure when a woman starts screaming, it's usually the end. It's just the beginning, and that's what all these nice people out here paid good money to find out. Why did she scream? Should have been at my place last night. I don't want to hear about it. Lady screamed, and I knew why. <laughs> okay, now, would you mind being quiet while the credits go by? Credits? The credits. All the talented people who helped in the production of the picture. Oh, don't forget Florence. Who's Florence? Well, she's a little waitress in Pasadena, and I promised I'd mention her name. All right, you mentioned her name. Now Remember, you... Florence, I kept my word. Now you keep yours. The credits. <laughs> the, the, the credits. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. All those people in the picture? Must be a cast of thousands. Say, how long does this go on, anyway? Oh, about five or ten minutes. You're kidding. I certainly hope this isn't one of those pictures where the screen keeps dividing up into 50,000 faces and you don't know what to look at. Great idea. I'm glad you mentioned it. Hey, wait a minute. How come there's 17 of you and only one of me? Yeah, but look where it is, right down there in the corner where everybody can see it. But if you're not happy... You told me we're equal partners. 60-40. We split everything down the middle. Except Florence. I am not interested in half of Florence. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> What you're missing is my half. <laughs> Will you forget Florence? Well, I don't know yet. But I sure would like to forget all this stuff. Hey, do you think we'll have time for the picture? I certainly hope so. Music? Hey, I didn't see anyone writing music when we were making this picture. Well, of course not, you ding -a -ling. He looks at the picture and he adds the score later. Someone was keeping score? Will you pay attention? Well, I'm raring to go. How much more of these credits are there? Patience. <laughs> Hey, do we uh, go walking off into the sunset at the end? Of course not. This picture's a mystery. It's no mystery to me. The butler did it. No, no, there isn't any butler in the picture. Aha! He's invisible. That's uh, why he can get away with all those murders. He's invisible. Just shut up. Hey, here come the big kids. Oh, yeah, nice guys. They produced a picture I was in once. This is the picture you do do. Among the untold stories of man's dedication to his craft is that of the tireless visionaries who worked and fought for freedom of expression on the motion picture screen. This is about two such men, Sam Smith and Ernest Gray. I am Isis, queen of the moon. I command you to come closer, Earth man. Not until you free my fellow astronauts, whom you hold captive in the cave of the winds. Oh, boy, you've got to be kidding with this dialogue. Cut. Ernie, baby, no temperament, not now. We got our last buck in this film. My last buck. Boy, you know, Sam, I've sung pretty low, but to co-star in a nudie film, there's a limit, er you know. Ernie, this is going to be a classic, trust me. Have I ever lied to you? <laughs> Quiet. Lunar Lust, a space odyssey, take four. Cut. Max, that's jungle lust. Can't we tie this thing down? What I give up for my art? That's better. All right, let's take it from Come Closer, Earth Man, and Sandra, this time a little more passion. I don't feel any passion. I've never done this before. You want to be a star, right? In family type movies. You told me this was a family type movie. This is how families are made. All right. Take fire. Action. Cut. Max. Submarine lust. We can't shoot that one. They'll run us out of Cincinnati again. And Ernie, give a little, will you? Give. Give. Not until you free my fellow astronauts whom you hold captive in the cave of the winds. I am Isis, queen of the moon. Teach me the meaning of Oh, yes. Teach me the meaning of this word that I hear in my ultra-sensitive listening device. This word, love. Love is an emotion we on Earth feel when two people care enough about each other to kiss. What is kiss, Earth man? Teach me about this kissing stuff. Your wish is my command, O oh Isis, queen of the moon.
cut. <laughs> What's that? Passion? I don't know. It's something that's been coming over me lately. I have this awful urge to howl. About what? Beats me. I've been seeing a doctor. You think you can control it long enough so I can get this next shot? I'll give it a whirl. All right, lunar lust. Take six. I am Isis, queen of the moon. I command you to come closer, Earth man. I tell you, it's the truth. I heard it with my own ears. They're making pictures in there, pornographic pictures. I'm in my building. Here. There, see? Right on my premises. And they haven't even paid the rent. What's all this? We have orders to confiscate this film. Confiscate? You have to be kidding. This is an independent production company. Why, we have offices in London, Vienna, and Paris. We're shooting an art film. Looks like a stag film to me. I only work in family-type pictures. Young lady, how old are you? Eighteen. Let's see your ID card. Why, she's not drinking. That's yeah. enough out of you. Now, come on, get dressed. Oh, no, come on. Oh, look at that. What's that? That's our latest patriotic production, Red, White, and Blue Lust. Ain't it a beauty? That was a good one. Let's go see that Mrs. Uh... Oh, yeah, Mrs. Potter. Yeah. I've never been more serious in my life. You mean I can keep it all? The whole thing, the chair, the table, the camera, the light, and the offices in London, Paris, and Vienna. How am I going to store all this stuff? Well, you can keep it at the house tonight, but tomorrow morning you go, and it goes with you. street again. Farquhar Avenue and Flushing. You can't miss it. It's right next to a cemetery. Cemetery? Hey, we could always go back to our television repair business. Now there's a giant step backwards. Just a stopgap. Your stopgaps have given me an ulcer. And now I'm howling to boot. Howling? Yeah, what's all that howling about? You tell me. My doctor can. You say the man howled? And barked, too. I didn't get a good look at him, but he'll remember me. Why? What'd you do to him? I dug my nails into his neck. Smith and Gray. Smith and Gray, Gray and Smith, or any other way you want to put it. And this is it. This is it. It, it, it. I T T it. it. That'll be 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah, 20 bucks. Uh, we're still partners, 50 50. All right, there's my time. Uh, move that stuff in, I'll write you a check. Give him a check, huh? Why don't you give him a rubber ball? It'll bounce higher and faster. You implying I'm dishonest? No, you just find things for their loss. Well, now that's gratitude for you. This very house you live in, you owe to me. Well, I've been meaning to talk to you about that, too. Some house, a snake Beautiful. pit next to a cemetery. The only nice. reason I bought it. You had inside information there was an express highway coming through. That's right. Ha! As a matter of fact, I have it on very good authority. Will you hurry up with that stuff? The, the transit authority's going ahead. Hi, Molly. Hello, Ernest. Baked your chocolate cookies. Ooh, you are a doll. <laughs> Molly, love, you haven't changed a day since I saw you last. You saw me last night when you freeloaded your usual dinner. <laughs> As I say, you haven't changed a day. Hey. Where do you want this junk? Uh, put it in the solarium on my desk. His desk? I got news for you, Molly. As of today, the partnership of Smith and Gray is defunct. Well, hallelujah. Hmm. No more Mr. Big Mouth. Are you going to let your housekeeper insult a guest in that fashion? Why, I have a good mind to pack up and leave. Promises, promises. No, it's just for tonight, Molly. Let's try to be a little tolerant. Mm. Does that include paying this phone bill? Hmm. Three hundred and eighty-seven dollars. You out. 
Relax, Ernie boy. Remember your ulcer. Pack your bags and get. 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 If you can just grind a relationship like ours, right into the dust. So be it. Who do you know in Battle Creek, Michigan? I'm leaving. See you later. 12, I'll uh, go to a hotel. Good. Oh, uh, when you finish there, my man, you can drop me off at the Pierre. The Pierre, you couldn't afford three minutes in a phone booth. How sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless friend. All right. All right, you can stay, but just for tonight. Nilly grazie. Mm. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, you out. Check out time at the Pierre is 11. Mm. And you, my pretty, what gustatory delights have you whipped up from that gourmet kitchen for tonight? Spaghetti. With that lousy meat sauce that you pick so deliciously when you cover it with all those noodles and cheese. How's tricks, Yasha? How's tricks? Practice, practice. Hi, Axel. How'd it go today? How did it go? Did you find work? Did I find work? In Amsterdam, I played the first violin with the Marlheim Quartet. Here, I can't pick up a dollar on a street corner. Oh, well, it's going to get better, Axel. Don't worry about it. Half a week's rent. Half a week's rent? I got an advance on a job. What kind of job? A black market bar mitzvah. Oh. Ernie, there's two cops downstairs. If it's for me, I'm out of town. Cops? Mrs. Fletcher, these are just routine questions. A man has been killed in the neighborhood. Now, we have to try to find out the facts. Well, I don't know any facts. How long have you lived here, Mrs. Fletcher? Two, uh, two months, and it feels like two years. You're Mr. Gray's housekeeper? Yes, and I'm not answering any more questions. Ernest Gray is a fine man. I've been with him long enough to know. We're not accusing him of anything. What's up, Mom? Mr. Gray? Yeah. I'm Sergeant Kilvaney, Flushing Headquarters. This is Lieutenant Crane. Okay, they want to talk to you about it. I'll tell him, lady. It's been a prowler in the neighborhood. Prowler? Mrs. Mrs. Potter, Potter across the street claims, claims that when she came, she came home, last... home last night, there was a man hiding on her front porch. He jumped up and barked at her. She dug her nails into his neck and frightened him off. Wait a minute. Who dug whose nails in whose neck? Mrs. Prowler did to the... Po Mrs. Potter did to the prowler. Lady, I said I would tell him. I'm just trying to help well, I haven't seen any prowler, but if I do, I'll certainly tell him you were looking for him. Mr. Gray, hmm? unfortunately, this is more serious than you think. As a matter of fact, a body was found in the cemetery last night. Well, that seems like a logical place to find a body. Somebody forgot to bury this one. Ah. In fact, it was hardly recognizable. It was clawed and mutilated. And, I hesitate to use the word... What word? Eaten. As though by an animal. <laughs> Mr. Gray, who else lives in this house? We have three rumors. One's leaving tomorrow. I was asking him. Who are they, Mrs. Lodger? A student named Robin Sherwood, a musician named Axel Kronstadt, and a moocher named Sam Smith. Well, we'll want to see them. Where are they? They're around somewhere. Ask Molly. Where are they? I said, where are they? You're asking him. She always is, way. Old family retainer. You'll learn to put up with him. When I get paid, you can talk like that. Now, the previous owner of this house was Joseph Wessling. That's right. I bought it from him. Real smart move. Sure. What's in the rear of the house? That's the uh, kitchen, service porch. There's the back door. You have an inside and outside access to the cellar? Mm-hmm. One right through there and one through there. You know how we can locate this uh, Wessling? Mm, sorry, Lieutenant. I never met him. As soon as I paid for the house, he left. And you should see the condition he left the place in. Oh, we had a beautiful apartment in Manhattan. A way out, groovy, swinging pad. Oh, go ahead, Lieutenant. No, no calories. Thanks very much. Officer, I made him myself. Well, anyway, as I was saying, I had four nights off a week every time he had a chick up there. Now I'm afraid to go out at night. Oh, Molly. If that no good Sam Smith can talk you into buying this place, I can try to talk you into selling it. Molly. How do you turn her off? You don't. You just let her run down. Uh, thanks very much, Mr. Gray. <coughs> just stand back. Oh, that's all right, maybe. Hey, guys, I told you 
to keep that dog away from Minerva, and I mean it. That's Helga. She works for the Ravenswoods next door. They brought her here from behind the Iron Curtain. I think she chewed her way through it. You're Miss Robin Sherwood? Yes, that's right. What have you got there? A human skull. Hello, Ernest. Oh, Hello. Hi, Just a minute, young lady. Where did you get that? From the lab at the university. I'm doing my thesis in psychobiology. Yeah, Miss Sherwood, mm. you notice anything unusual during the middle of the night? Well... Uh, I don't know if it means anything, but about two o'clock this morning, I was awakened by a, a weird howling. Howling? Yes. I looked out the window and I saw the lights go on in the Ravenswood house next door. Then I thought I saw someone leave the house. A man or a woman? I couldn't tell. Oh, I see. Miss Sherwood, may I ask why you're living here instead of on campus? I'm exercising my right of dissent. Oh, yeah, from what? Sit-ins, stand-ins, love-ins. Every kook on campus wants to have a private sleep-in with me. Anything else? Uh, no. Uh, thanks very much. Ask her for the rent. Hmm? Go ahead. You're the landlord. Oh, yeah. I think that wraps it up, Calvini. That's, uh, all for now, Mrs. Fletcher. If you learn anything new, would you let us know? Oh, yes, I will. This is Dr. Strauss. He's oh. been treating Ernest. I see. Doctor? Doctor? There was a murder in the cemetery last night. They're checking every house on the block. Well, I was just in the neighborhood, and I thought I'd save Ernest the trip to the office. Well, he's upstairs collecting the rent. Or something. <laughs> Jim, but I wanted to ask you about that howling you heard last night. Where did it seem to come from? Ernest, I've got to bathe and get dressed. Well, I... what was it like, though? Um, almost human. Look, did it you... sound like a man or a woman? Why? Well, it's very important. I've got to know. Look, couldn't we talk about it some other time? I've got to go to the university tonight. I really I do. I thought we had a date. Oh, I've got to get to a lecture. Well, that's all right. Or maybe I'll go with you. What's it about? Um, uh, female anatomy. Oh, I like that. Maybe after the lecture we could uh, go for a ride and do a little field work. Maybe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, about the rent. Yes. Forget it. Speak to Mr. Ravenswood. So it seems that somebody got nailed in the cemetery last night. So I heard. Is anyone being held for the murder? Not that I know of. Sure was a rough night in Coffin Corner. Ooh. You must have had a rough night yourself. Who was she? What do you mean? Those scratches on your neck. Scratches? Oh, no. What? 
Last night, the lady across the street said there was a prowler on her porch. And when he howled and barked at her, she scratched at him. So? But don't you see? It could have been me. And if I'm the prowler, I could also be the murderer. What are you saying? Look, Doc, last night after you phoned, I went for a walk. I had a dizzy spell, and I blacked out. And when I came to, I was in the cemetery. And you remember nothing? Mm. What's wrong with me? Well, it's, it's not just the howling. It's that right now, this very minute, I feel like dropping down on all fours and licking your hand. Anything else? Yes. I also have an uncontrollable urge to bark. Bark? Yes, like this. <coughs> That's certainly a new development. Robin, what are you doing down here in the dark? Um, I was just checking the fuse box. What for? The lights are working. Ah, uh, yes, but not in my room. This barking really disturbs me. How do you think I feel? Perhaps another session of hypnotherapy. Ah, we've tried that. But you know hypnosis is the quickest way to reach the unconscious. I've had it with that. Let's try something else. I've hesitated to say this, but I think you need expert psychiatric observation. There's the sanitarium in Philadelphia. Sanitarium in Philadelphia? Is... How would you like to be in pictures? I'm making a film in the Argentine called Gaucho Lust. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I don't have any experience. I could teach you all you uh, need to know. No, thanks. Where did you get this? I found it in the cellar. What's it say? Uh, Lupus veritas. Uh, the rest I can't make out. Lupus means wolf. It's a kind of talisman worn in Middle European countries to ward off werewolves. Well, does it ward off vultures, too? <laughs> you're adorable, Molly. When I make vampire lust, you're a cinch for the lead. Vampire? Please. A werewolf is not a vampire. It is a legendary creature that is said to devour human flesh. Yeah. Of course, werewolves are unknown in America. But in the Balkans... <laughs> Many a God-fearing man will swear that he's seen a human being drop down on all fours and suddenly rush off into the night howling. Oh, no. It can't be. Not here in Flushing. What's the matter? When will Ernest get back from the market? Any minute. What's Ernie got to do with it? If you're his friends, you must get him out of this house at once. Why? What do you mean, what do you mean get him out? I hope to God I'm wrong. There is something evil here. What evil? What do you mean? What are you talking about? There's something wrong with her. There's something wrong with her. We have to know. What do you mean evil? I don't know. Something. Somebody. Well, what do we do? I'll be back. Mr. Ravenswood. Excuse me. Mrs. Fletcher. Huh. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for my sister Carlotta. Poor child, she's not yet become acclimated and keeps wandering off. Oh, well, she's not uh, here, Mr. Ravenswood. No, we am not here. Won't you come in and have a cup of tea? Some other time, you have company. <laughs> company? Sam Smith, friend of the family. Enchanté. I hope you weren't too inconvenienced by the police. Tragic, that body found in the cemetery, clawed and mutilated. Oh, please don't talk about that. Were you able to help the police? We don't know any more about it than you do. Terrible, terrible. Well, I bet you good day. Oh, you sure you won't stay, Mr. Ravenswood? Ernest will be back any minute. No, I'd best run along and find Carlotta. Such a sensitive child. She hasn't been the same since family misfortunes forced us to leave our beloved Hungary. Poor baby. Alas, yes. It blighted the one romance of her life. She was madly in love with the young Prince Igor of the royal family. Prince Igor of the royal family? That's why I'm here looking for her. 
in her disordered mind, she associates Mr. Gray with Igor. All right, just be a nice doggy. I'm just going over here. Don't holler. Don't get off your lawn. Well, you're standing on it. All right. Uh, Alice B. Toklas. No. Uh, Tiny Tim. No. Zorba the Greek. Oh, Igor, it's me, Carlota. Yeah, trick or treat. Oh, Igor, why have you been avoiding me? Look, Carlotta, uh, you're a very nice lady, but it's just that we're from two different worlds. True, you are a prince and I am but a commoner. But surely you remember that night on the bearskin rug? Bearskin rug? Yes, darling. When we both do love for stunk chocolate stunk, Eiffel and Hemperang stunk. Are you sure? Yes, darling. And then later on, we went into the other room, and we both a felt and Hemperang stunk, and just them legs are stunk. We did. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, cool it. Here comes the large one. Stand back. I don't want to hit a lady. And I must warn you, I'm a black belt karate. Ha! 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 Oh! Helga! Carlotta! Bravidovich! Bravesi, brava! Prosta! Bravidovich, into the house, both of you. Bravidovich, prosta. Forgive my sister Carlotta. She will not bother you again. She's, um, how do you say, um, Dreznike Policenti. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah. Hmm. Molly, I got the groceries. Hi. Who are you? Fenster. Harold Fenster, who are you? Ernest Gray, I live here. Good afternoon. I'm Joanna Clay. He's Flushing Realty. Oh. Mr. Fenster is a prospective buyer. So. Molly. And a run down, isn't it? Oh, how can you say that? Season, maybe, but not run down. It's got character. Warm, livable, homey, great place for children. When would you like to move in? We could be out by tonight. Oh, it's not for me. It's for my parents. They're getting on, you know, and, well, they won't be around much longer. Ideal house for them, right next to a cemetery. Molly! Well, I you have something in the oven, I'm sure. By the way, I knew the former owner, Joseph Wessling. What happened to him? Your guess is as good as mine? You know, he was one of the finest diamond cutters in the world. Hmm? Met him in Antwerp. Mr. Fenster's in Wholesale Diamonds. Oh, well, good. Let me show you the house, then. There's four bedrooms upstairs. Oh, don't bother, there. Mr. Gray. I know the house very well. Right this way, Mr. Fenster. Now, right over here. Adolf, I tell you, it's sensational. Adolf, baby, trust me. Would I lie to you? Hey, get off the phone. My bill's big enough. Okay, okay. Adolf, there's a doctor here with an emergency. I'll get back to you. Guess who I was just talking to? Hmm. Adolf? Hitler? Springer. Adolf Springer. I told him about our fabulous new act. His tongue's hanging out. What new act? Start thinking. It'll come to us. <laughs> right over there. A hairy-faced monster with long fangs. It was horrible. Just horrible. Where? In that corner. Well, don't just stand there. Go take a look. You heard him. Go take a look. I heard him. Let him go take a look. <laughs> There's your monster. Shoot, shoot, get out of here. This is a volume from the library on lycanthropy. Now, I didn't want to express my fears until I had thoroughly researched the subject. Symptoms, a desire to howl, bark, drop down on all fours, Itching palms as though hairs were growing on them. Have your palms been itching? No, of course not. What are you getting at, Doc? Incredible, simply incredible. What's incredible? But everything would seem to indicate that Ernest is rapidly turning into a werewolf. What? Ridiculous. Me? A werewolf? The important thing is that you haven't as yet had the desire to eat human flesh. Human flesh? Ah, yes. That doesn't occur until the night of the full moon. What day is this? 
Today is the day we're getting a new doctor. We need an MD, not a witch doctor. Oh, please, you've lost my place. Molly. And you've lost your mind. Molly's right. This whole thing is nonsense. Ernest, please, I beg of you. We must take steps while there's still time to fight the enemy. Fight what enemy? That's what we'll have to find out. Hold it, Doc. You mean you're not putting us on? Ernie is really turning into a werewolf? The evidence leaves no doubt. Oh, holy cow, what an act. Ernest Gray, the first American werewolf, Adolf will flip. Get out of here. Ernie, don't fight it. It's fate, destiny. I can see it now. Ten beautiful chorus broads, all dressed like Little Red Riding Hood, and out you come. The big bad werewolf, fangs dripping, palms itching, howling your head off. What a beautiful thing that'll be. Sam, oh, will you stop? Make a great TV special. That's what we need, a in, TV special. In prime time, the animal lovers alone will get us a big rating. Get your own rating. Gentlemen, Ernie. gentlemen, please, this is serious. If we are going to do something... Do what? Why is this happening to me? That's Ernie. what we'll have to find out. What evil creature has chosen you to be one of its kind? Well, what do you think it is? We must make a trap. What do you mean a trap? What kind of a trap? You, well, please, wait. Uh, here, a werewolf trap can be fashioned from a circle of horsehair with three drops of human blood in the center. Blood in the center, that now, makes sense. Uh, boom! Yes. Uh, well, uh, once we've seen. brought the enemy out into the open, then yeah. this, the ultimate weapon. A gun? What uh, do we need a gun well, for? The werewolf is vulnerable only to a silver bullet in the brain. No kidding, I thought it was a stake to the heart. Uh, no, no, catch no, no, no stakes. Those life. are vampires. Vamp a well-placed shot in the head, in the head will catch do it. Shoot him in the shoulder, it won't louse no. up the ass. Shoot who in the shoulder? I don't know, Robert. I'm Listen, trying to it explain. just sounds beautiful. You guys go ahead and set up the we track with a horsehair circle of blood in the center. It's great. It's a life. Oh, depends on life. And Doc, Please. don't shoot anything till I get back. See here, you. What are we gonna do? First, we must make our horsehair circle. Horsehair circle, right? One question: yeah. Where are we gonna find a hairy horse in Flushing at this time of the night? Hmm? Just hold the phone, Mr. Sam Smith. You got me out of bed, an important meeting, to tell me about a dog act? Not a dog act, Adolf. You just said a fellow imitates a dog. He doesn't imitate a dog, he turns into a dog. Actually, he turns into a wolf. Big deal. So does Adolf. Mona, please. All right, all right. All right, so the fellow turns into a wolf. Now, what happens after that? Isn't that enough? Well, I thought there was some kind of an act, you know, like turning somersaults or jumping through a burning hoop or something. Adolf, before your very eyes, a human being turns into a wolf at night. At night? Yes. What about matinees? Uh. Day and night, that's all he thinks about. Would you believe this woman a one-track mind? I'm talking business. So talk. So I'm talking. Where was I? Matinees. Yeah. Matinees, you see, the thing that bothers me is you get your kid trade at matinees. Forget it. I mean, what good's an animal act that works only at night? Hey, you're not interested, you're not interested. I'll sell the act to the Smothers Brothers or the Sullivan Oh, oh, oh hold the phone, Mr. Impatient. Who said who wasn't interested? But I gotta see pictures. Oh, sure. <laughs> Adolf Springer buys nothing sight unseen. And you're right. You want pictures, you're gonna get pictures. Eight by ten, sixteen by twenty, thirty by forty. You want them, you got them. Now, where are you gonna be later? Call you tomorrow. Now we take the final snip from the violin bow. Tie up the ends. And this completes the horsehair circle. Are you positive this is going to work? According to all the documented cases, it's the only way. Fine thing, I got a blind date with a werewolf. Now, have we got everything? Wolfsbane, candle, horsehair circle. Right. Now we dim the lights. Hey. Is that absolutely necessary? Yes. And remember, Ernest, when the creature enters... The creature, yeah. I, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, where is he likely to enter from? Who knows? Uh, Anywhere. From the door. Through the window. Out of thin air. And, and where will I be? Right here in the chair. Here. Now for the blood. Ernest! Yeah. What on earth are you doing? Well, we're having guests for dinner, and the doctor's just setting the table. Then you're not uh, coming to the lecture tonight? No, 
No, no, I won't be uh, able to make the lecture. Something came up. Um, I'll explain all this later. Will I see you in the morning? I, I, I certainly hope so. Good night, Miss Sherwood. Good night, Doctor. Good night, Ernie. Good, good night, Rob. Now for the drops of blood. What are you doing all this blood? Ow! Oh, hi, hi Molly. Mm. Where are you going? To my sister's. I'm not spending the night in this loony bin. If you're interested, your dinner is in the oven. It's not human flesh, but it's the best I can do. Now for the three drops of blood. So. Mm. So. And so. There. Now it's just a matter of waiting for. Whatever it is we are waiting for. What if whatever it is we're waiting for decides he doesn't want me in the club, but instead wants me for a midnight snack? Hold it! Sam, what are you doing? Before and after shots. I'll get one more before, and the after, I'll get after. You get the before now, because there ain't going to be no after. I'm leaving. Blow a ten-page spread in life. Ernie, you're the first American werewolf. Please, please. You're going to be a legend in your own time. The man's life is at stake. Steak, that's for vampires. You told me yourself. Get in this one, Doc. Mm. Flushing medic flushes werewolves out of lair. Smile, Doc. Say well, cheese. Sam, and... will you oh, knock it off? What's the matter with you, kid? Immortality beckons. Why, well, I'd give my life's blood to be in your spot. Oh? Yeah. Well, sit down and open a vein. Buddy boy, you're not chickening out. Look, you're going to be a werewolf. You want to make a buck out of it, right? Like... Please, Ernest, time is growing short. You right. cannot run from the inevitable. But, but, Doc... Have faith, my boy. This will protect you. This will protect me? Wolf's bane, right, Doc? Please. And garlic, both anathema to werewolves. Not doing my pants any good, either. Now, you sit tight. I'll be right outside with the camp. Okay? And I'll be right across the street watching with the silver bullet. If anything happens, just shout, Dr. Help. Dr. Help. Right. Right. Doctor, help! Yeah, what is it? See, you're late. Get back on doctor. Don't wait for help. Ernest, please. I beseech I'm you. I'm sorry. Everything will be all right. Doctor. Now, let's get one more, just in case. In case of what? So far, nothing's happened. And nothing will. All that witchcraft is absolute nonsense. Just pour yourself a glass of warm milk and go to bed. Right. Warm milk, right. Okay, Molly. Thanks. Goodbye. Egon. Oh. Well, uh, what are you doing here? You called and I came. You better get out of here. I'm expecting company. Oh, no, my love. My place is with you. On our wedding night. Wedding night? Hey, your brother's not going to like this. I better call him. Oh, speak of the devil, Mr. Ravenswood. I was just calling you. It's about your sister, Carlotta. She thinks I'm someone named Igor, and I don't know anyone named Igor. Is it... Oh, never mind that. That's just a little experiment. Experiment? Dr. Strauss has been treating me for, um... Oh, I, I, I feel silly mentioning it. Yes, what? Well, I have this strange compulsion to... How? How? Yeah, how, you know. Oh! <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? 
Not necessarily. The desire to howl is something I've had myself for a long time. You're kidding. Yeah. You too? Yeah. How long? 300 years. 300? 300 years? Do not be alarmed, my friend. You're simply finding the adjustment somewhat difficult. Uh, ad adjustment? To the new life. The real life. The life of the wind, the night, and the cold, and pale stars. Don't be frightened, my friend. There's a lot to be said for it. Who are you? Count Michel Antonescu Radovicheni. Here in the United States, simply Mr. Ravenswood. You, you're a werewolf. Oh, man, you said that as if I were a fishmonger. Get out of here. Go mong your fish somewhere else. Take Rosemary's baby with you. You don't seem to understand the honor that has been bestowed on you. The distinction of being the first of your kind. Thank yes. you very much. I'm just not a joiner. Within a few days, your eating habits will undergo a change. Once you have tasted human flesh, then and then only you will be one of us. Human flesh? No, I'm on a bland diet. Get someone else. Oh, Igor, be one of us. I would Stay back, Wolfsbane! Garlic! I do understand you are rejecting us. In a word, yes. Ah, with that childish nonsense. Another minute and the offer is withdrawn. Good! I never want to see any of you again. Ernie, Sam. old buddy, what do you say? Sam, I'm not oh, kidding. He didn't mean that, Mr. R. He'd be delighted to join your little pack, wouldn't you, Ernie? Tell him how happy you'd be. Sam? Sir, let me make you a proposal. You and your sweet sister, Charlotte. Carlotta. Carlotta and your beautiful friend, Zelda. Helga. Sign this paper and I'm going to make you rich. Rich beyond your wildest dreams. Please. Make it a package deal, a musical combo. Charlotte on guitar, Zelda on bongos, and if you can just carry a tune... Please go there. Don't just Count, I'll have you living high further. off the hog. If it's blood you drink, I'll guarantee you a cellar full of vintage plasma, right? Okay. All right, All then. right, let's get one group shot of the whole pack. Everybody howl. Confess you. We might have chosen a more appetizing morsel for a start. Still. It's the first bite that's the hardest, my lord. First bite, huh? I will show you. Carlotta! Not before our guest. Eat. Eat? No, not my ex-partner. Eat or be eaten. You mean... I said eat or be eaten. That's what I thought you said. Mm. Darn decent of you to give me a choice. And I'll give you my answer. How about a week from Friday? Now. Now. Mm. I eat him or you eat me. Correct. What could be fair in that? I'll see you in a minute. Where are you going? Get a knife and fork. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Listen, why don't we go out to dinner? I know a little Chinese restaurant. You get the number six with the egg. Enough! Egg. This is not your American hot dog or blueberry pie. This is the ultimate in gracious cuisine. Carlotta. Bon appetit. No! Just come with me. Officer, as I... I suppose you think it's normal behavior to walk around with a loaded gun. Just give me a minute. Just I be can quiet. explain I'm it. I'm going to find out what Officer, this is all about. Officer, am I glad to see you. Arrest that man. What for? He's a werewolf. A what? A werewolf, a deadly killer who turns into an animal at night. An animal? An animal. You see, Officer, that's why I had the pistol with the silver bullet. Wait a minute! Wait a minute. <laughs> who turns into an animal? He does. They all do. Of course I do. I do it with mirrors. Would you care for a demonstration? Observe closely. Oh, sorry, it didn't work. Don't let that fool you. He's a killer. He eats people. He tried to get me to eat my partner. Eat who? My partner. Here, I'll show you. He's right here on the tape. He was here a minute ago. Sam! Sam, wake up! Tell him what happened. What happened? What happened is that I came here for my sister, and this gentleman made me a business proposition in which I am very interested. You are? It's very interesting. No. See me tomorrow. Yes, no. sir. You won't be sorry. No, go Sam, you right don't now. understand. These people tried to eat you. Don't leave. Please, don't crush the cashmere. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Robin, am I glad to see you. Ernest, what's the matter? It's him. He's a killer. He's trying to turn me into a werewolf. A werewolf? Yeah, all of them. They tried to make a meal out of Sam. Poor, poor fellow. You 
been treating him, Doctor, for what? Well, of late, he has had this compulsion to howl. Who howls? I howl. And I bark, too. That ain't funny, mister. Doctor, you better come with me. I want to hear more about this gun. Now, I would like there not to be any more trouble around here tonight, so I'd appreciate it if the rest of you would just kind of... Come on, Doctor. Take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Good night, Mr. Gray. Pleasant dreams. turning into a werewolf. There's no such thing as werewolves. What was that? That's the no such thing. Let's get out of here. Nonsense. The stool probably knocked over a lamp. Sure, the lamp screamed. It could have been Molly's parrot. Come on, let's go check. Let's go check. Hold it. We're not going down in some creepy cellar like out of some cheap horror movie with a girl in a nightgown holding a candle because the light blew out. It is creepy down here. Be careful, watch the stairs. I've never been in a cellar before at night. It's dark. Ah! Oh! oh, it's just the window. Where's the 
fuse box. Uh, I think it's over there. Okay. I don't see anything. Now go on. What do you mean go, go on? on? Well, don't push me. There's nothing here. I thought I saw something. Well, it's not here now. I knew I saw something move. It's not moving now. Oh, it's just a stuffed head. What's that? Well, it's not a bowling alley. Now let's get out of here. No, wait, Ernest, don't you see? The howling, the wolf's head, somebody's trying to scare you. Well, they're doing a hell of a job. Now let's go. Well, we've got to find out what's in that tunnel. What do you mean we've Come got on. to find out? Right, get me out in weather like this. I didn't even come to Flushing for the World's Fair. The World's Fair didn't have werewolves. And you're going to see this bit with your very own eyes. Ernie? Ernie, I got Adolf with me. Ernie, he must be upstairs. Come on up. Come on, boy. Here, Ernie. Here, boy. Come on, Ernie. Here, boy. Cemetery. Hey, right next to Ravenswood House. Axel, what are you doing out here? What am I doing out here? Try to get a taxi on a rainy night in Flushing. What are you doing out here? Oh, it was such a lovely night. We decided to go for a walk. Stop that infernal racket! Well, then, I warn you for the last. Spain keeps away werewolves. We won't need that anymore. They will be gone in the morning. You hope. I'll find Excalibur if I have to take that house apart, board by board. One care for a silver bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chief Rumstocker. Shook Sharon shot Excalibur. Excalibur. I must say I enjoyed my role of Svengali. A needle, a little post hypnotic suggestion, and poof, an ulcer becomes a howl. <laughs> that dirty my old blue cross doesn't pay. By the way, I have some interesting information. Information? What was that? Hello. It's for you, your impresario. Yes, what is it, Mr. Smith? I got Adolf Springer with me. The booking agent. Can I bring him over? We'll make the deal right away. No, 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 not tonight. Uh, yeah, well, what about lunch tomorrow? We'll kick it around. Fine, fine, fine. Call me in the morning. Great. Just great. Thank you. What did I tell you? He loves it. He loves it. We're in. I'm going to lock the whole deal up tomorrow. So far, I haven't seen a thing. You will trust me, baby. I Have I ever you. lied to you? You're going to be Florence Segfield all over. We've got to get you back to Mona. 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 Well, one thing I learned tonight, I may be a dum-dum, but at least I'm not a werewolf. Well, you're still not out of the Vienna woods. You're right. Doctor, 
What are you saying? Simply that the girl is not Robin Sherwood, but Rosetta van Meer. Van Meer? Exactly. The daughter of Franz van Meer. How clever of him to use his own daughter. How much does she know about us? More than that baby face is telling. How much? It is inconceivable that she doesn't know who we are, what we're after. We must get rid of her. That one doesn't scare easily. Erga! Erga! Dara ide! Magia i kir posta! No, wait. I may have a much more interesting solution, my darlings. Hey, what's so valuable in this house? What is Excalibur? Excalibur was the sword of King Arthur. Remember? Lady of the Lake. Don't tell me we got poetry lovers next door. Hello. Ernest, Dr. Strauss here. Oh, doctor, I'm glad you called. I have a few unmedical questions to ask. Ernest, when I snap my fingers, you will fall into a deep sleep. You hear me, Ernest? Yes, I hear you. That girl, Robin Sherwood. She is evil. Evil. She must be eliminated. You will kill her tonight. Tonight. Now, when I snap my fingers, you will wake up. Good night, Ernest. Good, good night, Doctor. What did Dr. Strauss want? Hmm? Oh, what makes you think it was Strauss? Well, I heard you say Doctor. Oh. Well, let's not talk about the doctor. Let's talk about us. I want to. I want to. I want to talk to you. No, I want to talk to you. Come on into my room. Come over here. Well, it's just that we. I really want to feel more like, like something more than a friendly landlord. There's something I've wanted to do all night. down here you just tried to kill me kill you why I, I don't know that doesn't make any sense could uh, could dr. Strauss have anything to do with it Strauss Strauss the telephone that's it he told me to kill you dr. Strauss has been telling you a lot of things Ernest yeah why would he want me to kill you? I, uh, I don't know. Robin, do you know Dr. Strauss? What difference does it make? And who are those people next door? Ernest, you have a nasty bump. Let's go upstairs and take care of it. Hey, let's quit the games. What's going on Ernest, here? I do want to tell you the truth. Well, it's about time. I'm so alone. I need your help. Well, well, now we're going to hear about King Arthur's sword, huh? Excalibur is real. 
It's solid gold encrusted with priceless emeralds. My father excavated it on the site of battle. <laughs> the Battle of Flushing? I mean, you've got to believe me. It was stolen by somebody called Wesley. Wesley? Hey, I bought this house from a guy named Wesley. He smuggled it into this country. It's hidden right here in this house. Where? The only clue I have is this. From the shaft, three paces east, three paces south, stamped twice. Shaft? What shaft? I've searched everywhere. Maybe there's a hidden, um, a cold shaft. Or an elevator shaft. Dumbwaiter shaft. That's it. Aha, uh -huh, now we're getting somewhere. Now, three paces east. Does that look like east? Yeah. Give it a whirl. One, two, three. Three paces south. That's got to be south. One, two, three. Stamp twice. One, two. Nothing. You say it was written across his chest? In blood. AX18191. That could be Axminster, a telephone number. Oh, well, what would a stiff be doing with a phone number on his chest? Maybe it's an unlisted number. Don't get cute. Now, where is this body? Right over here. Well, it was here a minute ago. We just left it to call the police. We're the police, and we've about had it around here. Look, there's the blood. He came All down, right. dumb waiter. Well, suppose you tell us exactly what happened here tonight. I just told you. All except one thing. What's that? Ernest tried to kill me. Robin! With his bare hands. You know I was hypnotized. You were running around. Well, why do you think I did? Okay. Both coming to headquarters. Why can't I stay here? Because I said both. To sign a detail to guard the house, nobody is to enter or leave tonight. I was hypnotized. You're not. One act, one act, one crowbar, one crowbar, chisel, hammer, hatchet. Wait, Bishop. Keep him away from the house. But how? I'm sure that you will think of something. I'm not leaving without my share of the money. Well, do as I tell you. Take him somewhere, anywhere. See that I get three hours alone in that house. be the beginning of a long and profitable relationship. I'm so sorry my brother Michel couldn't join us. He had a slight indisposition. Probably somebody he ate. <laughs> oh, Mr. Smith. Sam. Sam. Tell me one thing, you fascinating creature. Yes. Can you really, I mean, really turn into a canine? But of course, darling. What kind? Any kind you like. Any? Isn't that fabulous? You mean like a Russian wolfhound? Mm-hmm. An Irish setter? Yes. A chihuahua? Uh, well, personally, I prefer Afghan. Uh, it's so beautiful. It's so silky. Rough. Just sign this contract, my little Pomeranian. I'll have you in dog biscuits the rest of your life. Oh, no, no. I can't sign anything without my brother. No. Okay, we'll go back and get a signature. Oh, do we have to go so soon? Couldn't we just take a drive in the country someplace? Then we'll go back and get a signature. Perhaps. After we're getting to know each other a little better. Wait, waiter. Yes, sir.
What the hell? I can always get a distemper shot. My dear, a motel room, an utterly American. Everything deluxe. <laughs> I read what goes on in these places. <laughs> It's what comes off that counts. Oh, you are so naughty. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you make yourself more comfortable? Oh well, Sam, why don't we have a drink first? It's a good idea. I'll dash up and get us a bottle of bubbly. Bubbly? Champagne. Oh. The only way to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Arrivederci, my little beagle. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Well, that's up to you, isn't it? <laughs> Good afternoon. May I help you? Oh, never mind. From Tony Adolf, I got her in a motel room right now. What do you mean you want to come over and watch? What are you... A... No, no, I didn't mean that. I meant, uh, could she show me a little of her shtick? Shtick? I mean, if she can really turn herself into a dog, money's no object. I'll ask her and, uh, call you back. Yes, yes, Sam is here with me at the American motor. Well, now, you tell me, how are things up at the house? Did you find Excalibur? Uh, not yet. We need another hour or so. Well, what do you suggest I do? I dread I have to think of everything. Don't you shout at me. I'm not getting any richer while you're playing mastermind. I know, darling. You'll have to give me a little time. <laughs> This is all kind of new to me, uh, darling. You, you, I, I, I have this friend, Adolf Springer. I wonder if I could ask him to come over just to say hello. Yeah, I mean, he just breezes in and out. No pictures or anything. You know I wouldn't embarrass you, sweetheart. <laughs> okay? Oh, you're a doll. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> a country boy at heart. Sweetheart, a favor? When Adolf comes over, would you do the act again for him? Ruff. Please. Well, don't get sore, sweetheart. He's just gonna breeze in and out. No pictures, remember? Will you keep your stupid hands off me? Oh, no, that's no way to talk to a man that's gonna make you and your brother rich. Brother? Yeah. Sam? Yeah? How would you like to be really rich? I'll drink to that. You're singing my song, sweetheart. First of all, there is something about me you ought to know. Well, whatever it is, I'm game. After all, ten years ago, we'd be arrested for doing this. Ruff. Oh, 
Take her to the house. She might be useful. No werewolves. No werewolves? Listen, Adolf's coming. You mean there's no act? No, no act. Hey, wait a minute. I, I'm out 12 bucks for this motel room, plus a dollar ten for this imported Sacramento champagne. Oh, that's pennies, you fool. Suppose I were to tell you that somewhere in your friend's house is close to two million dollars. Two million dollars? Precious stones. How did it get there? It was hidden by the former owner, Joseph Westling. Westling? Have you ever heard of Excalibur? Not yet, but keep talking. Excalibur is an Egyptian pharaoh's crown. It's worth a king's ransom in emeralds and rubies. No kidding. All we have to do is get it before Michel does. You mean you double-cross your own brother? Wouldn't you for two million dollars? I haven't got a brother. Neither have I. Get lost, sister. I'm marrying for money. How many times do I have to hear this fairy tale? I want to buy your house. With what? I'll raise the money if I have to hock my soul. Your soul and a dime just might get you a copy of the Flushing Daily News. You don't trust me? That's about it. Ernie, suppose I were to tell you the truth. Uh huh. I mean the truth. Oh, sure. The real truth. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Oh, uh -huh. there's two million dollars in precious stones from the crown of an Egyptian mummy hidden inside your house. You know what? What? Your bananas. Ernie, have I ever lied to you? Uh, er, I don't, Ernie, Ernie, I'm leveling with you. Carlotta is double-crossing Ravenswood. He's been trying to scare you out of the house so that he could search. You see what I mean? Good afternoon. Hello, Robin. Ernest, are you all right? in here? King Arthur was looking for his sword. Only it's not a sword, it's an Egyptian hat. Or maybe it's a horse in the third at aqueduct. Suppose, suppose I told you it was neither. Suppose I told you to take your two faces and get the hell out of here. Ernest, I know I lied to you, but this is the truth. Excalibur happens to be one of the largest diamonds ever unearthed. 191 priceless carats. Now it's a diamond. Yes. Stolen from your father. No, my uncle. The Egyptian monk. Look, you've got to believe me. You just have to. Why? Because... Because I really care. Hello. I'm... I'm... Molly. Molly, where are you? What happened? What? I... She's in the care of Helga. Nothing will happen to her if you do exactly as I tell you. Such as? You will be out of the house by nightfall. Goodbye, Mr. Gray. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What if I give you the diamond? You have found Excalibur? I know where it is. You have until nightfall. We have until nightfall. There really is a diamond. I told you, and I am the rightful heir. All right, rightful heir. What do we do now? Find it and free Molly. They'll kill her. I know them. You're going to give up two million bucks to save a housekeeper? Have you ever tasted her spaghetti? Come on, we got to search the house. Hey, wait a minute. You out of your mind? Sam, will you get with it? It's almost six o'clock. How do you like that double-crossing Carlotta? You know, I came close to being a father of a long-haired Afghan. I wonder what it would have looked like. Will you come on? Wait, wait a minute. That's not bad for Molly. Let's try it and find out. Check Axel's room. I'll take the attic. Okay. Who is it? Sam. 
Police asked to search the house. Axel, do you mind? Do I mind? Search the pits! God bless you. I got at least double pneumonia from walking in the rain last night. Can I get you something, Axel? No, no. Just close the door on the way out. Oh. Oh. You better take care of yourself. You're going to catch cold, Axel. <laughs> One eight one nine one. Joseph, what are you trying to tell me? Yes. Yes, Joseph, of course. Thank you. Are you absolutely sure, operator, there is no Axe Minister 18191? Thank you. Well, if it's not a phone number, it's got to be a clue to something. Yeah. What else could AX stand for? Uh, uh, Axe. Axis. Axel. Axel. Axel, Axel, what's his name? Kronstadt. Kronstadt? Axel, wait a minute. I've got a notion. Axel Kronstadt. How could he be involved? He wouldn't hurt a fly. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Axel Kronstadt, 18191. Forget Kronstadt, look. AX18191, that's the same thing. Yeah, but suppose that isn't the number one. Suppose it's the letter I. I only suggest this because I once filmed a detective story called Sherlock's Lust. Yes, I recall. We blew a bundle on that. Well, Wait, right. there are exactly 191 carats in Excalibur. Right. So? So, for Ax, read Axel. For one, read I. Axel, I-8-191. I-8-191. He swallowed them. Yeah. Right. Oh, a diamond as big as a doorknob? I couldn't even swallow that. Not diamond, diamonds, plural, cut stones. Right, cut by Westling. Why would he swallow all those diamonds? Because he was being chased. That's why he hid in the dumbwaiter. So he swallowed them, hid in the dumbwaiter? Right. Then who killed him? Hey, did you ever try to digest 191 carats of ground glass? Nah, but this Axel character, what's his bag? Who is he? He's an accomplice. Westling wanted him to know. That's the reason he wrote a message and... Look out! <clears throat> All right, where's your cotton-picking, diamond-eating friend? Uh, I got it. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, two million beautiful bucks in this boy's belly. Hey, is this ordinary income or capital gain? What's the difference? The diamonds aren't ours anyway. What do you mean they're not ours? The body was found on your property. You're entitled to mineral rights. Ugh. Plus a depletion allowance. Depletion? Sure. Erosion. Gastric right. juices. You know what? You flipped. Yeah, you're the one that's slick. You got a chance to make a million bucks. Just and you come. Robin! Rob. Uh oh. What's this? From the shaft, three paces east, three paces south, stamped twice. What's that mean? It's the clue that Robin had. What clue? The shaft. That must be it. The shaft of the knife. Oh, you have snapped. Come on, I'll show you. One, two, three. Two, yeah. All right, now three paces south. One, two, three. Stamped twice. Stamped twice. That's what it says. One, two. Well, back to the old drawing board. There's a shaft, all right, and next time you're going to get it. Don't go away. Are you all right? Am I all right? Come on, we got to find Robin. Robin! <laughs> Oh, Robert, are you... Who done it? Axel. Axel. Come on, let's go. Coming. They must be back here. Right. Hey, there they go. There they go. Come on. Rotten body snatcher. Give us our... Come on, you... I feel something. Diamonds? Either that or he swallowed his watch. Hey, we, we shouldn't be doing this. I'll make the incision Ooh. right here. Darn things never work when you want them to. Here, hold your finger right there. It's clammy. Nurse, scalpel. Oh, sorry. 
That's a scalpel? Uh, you're the host. You carve. No! All right. I'll carve. Uh, wait a minute. I'm not sterile. I didn't know that. Okay. Here we go. Will you come? Patience. You just don't rush into surgery. We're not going to rush into anything. I'm going to call Ravenswood and make a deal for Molly. That will not be necessary. Please continue. I'm anxious to see the results of your autopsy. I'd like to see Molly before we do anything. Mrs. Fletcher is in the very capable hands of Helga. Uh, well, you bring Molly and I'll give you the corpse. Mr. Gray, you are hardly in a position to dictate terms. Look, it's just that... I... Carlotta, I appeal to you as... Prince Igor. Michel, what difference does it make if he wants the old lady so much? Drasnike uh, Parova! I shall count to three. One... Can't we make a deal? The body for Molly. Two. Half a Molly for half the body. Three. So much for the mastermind. That leaves you and me. 50-50? I'm counting. One. We made a deal in the motel. Two. What's fair is fair. Three. Now there's a doctor in the house. We can operate professionally. Which of you has the steadiest hand? He has. You, Carf. Carf. Who's she? Joanna Clay, real estate agent. And collector of precious stones. And she wants us to carve. You've got three seconds to get the job done. Choosies? Uh huh. One, two, three. Don't say three! Three! He? Fenster, he wants to buy the house. Now's the time. Start carving. Aren't you going to count? No. You want me to count? No. Carve. Don't stop until you come up with those diamonds. I tell you, they tried to kill me. Take it easy, lady. Take it easy. They wanted to cut my throat. Who did? <gasps> Him. Him. Her. And her, too. Molly, are you all right? Oh, well, that's what I've been through. Never mind that. What's all this? I can explain everything, Sergeant. Arrest this man. I got him, Sergeant. Yeah, well, let him go. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest. Yes, and you too. For what? Lieutenant, they're in here. <sighs> okay, Sergeant, take them in. Wait a minute. What's the charge? I represent the Motion Picture Production Code. You're guilty of excessive violence on film. <laughs> all right, all of you. On your feet. All right, everybody up. Move along. Wait a minute. Stop the camera. What'd you do that for? Well, now, what kind of a solution is that to a murder mystery? It's a cop-out. Nothing is explained. You got a better ending? Well, I should hope so. Be my guest. All right. Everybody back. Good. Now, the solution to this mystery is, and hold on to your hat, the butler did it. Butler? There's no butler in this picture. That's what you think. You call, sir. Tony, the truck driver? 
Franz von Mill. And I might add, the true owner of Excalibur. Father, I thought you were in Antwerp, where the Ravenswood gang left you for dead. No, no, my dear. I'm here to claim what is rightfully ours. And to kill the man who attacked my daughter. Oh, I, I don't know. I love Step you. Aside, no, don't. I love you. Don't. Oh. 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 Robin. Oh, Ernest. I loved you more than... Life is so... Robin, don't leave me. Robin! Steady, old man. She's with the angels now. I know. And that's the lousiest ending I ever saw. What? Oh, I dear. suppose you could do better. With one hand behind my back. Show me. All right, stop the action. Everybody back. All right, action. All right, everybody, line up over there. All right, you heard the lieutenant. Line up. Move along. Come on, line up. The murderer is right here in this room. The same deadly killer who mutilated the body in the cemetery. And then, oh, how clever, tried to put the blame on... Spare us the details, lieutenant over there against the wall and keep your hands up all of you Molly what are you saying I'm saying I did it and I'm glad Wesley was a swine who didn't deserve to live Molly and you you sniveling fool I always hated you you with your swinging pad and your cute little chicks I didn't know that and you what have you to say for yourself I always ate your spaghetti sure you always ate my spaghetti but what about me for me, never a touch, a glance, a fleeting smile. Oh, Sam, I loved you so. Was the scar on my face so repugnant to you? What scar? I don't believe... Please, no recriminations. Just smile and say goodbye. Molly, oh, no! Not you, my darling. Let it be said of Molly Fletcher that she loved not wisely, but too well. Molly in just to get an ending. Well, you got to finish this thing somehow. Yeah. Hey, whatever happened to those wonderful old movies where the two lovers walked off into the sunset? Lovers? Are you kidding? Everybody's dead. We're the only two left. Well, in that case. Mm -hmm.